Hi my loves, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you how do I keep my energy in such a peaceful and calm and positive state at all times. Before I go into this video, I wanted to come here and just generally like sit down and chat with you guys. Like today is Saturday, um, it's supposed to be a chill day. Actually, it hasn't been a chill day. In fact, I was extremely busy the whole entire day. And so I planned to do a couple videos, but actually I, I had a very, very long day and it was quite busy. But I'm still here showing up, showing up for you guys because this year I am, whoa. <laughs> this year I am dedicated to you know make weekly videos for you guys, to inspire you, to, you know just actually share some love and positivity and and so if you're watching this video right now i wanted to share with you how do you actually keep your energies or how do you keep your mind how do you keep yourself in such a way that is calm at all times and is positive at all times because i realized a couple of years ago that keeping my energies calm and 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 and, and peaceful and all of these different things actually if we were to go to a life, a day-to-day -day basis, it's quite difficult. We have a lot of social media, media going on. We have a lot of things that are happening in the world. There is a lot of violence. There's a lot of different things that can disrupt your energy, can um, disrupt your energetic feel, whatever you wanna call it. And so if you are into spirituality, if you are into law of attraction, or if you are into personal development, then you mo must be watching this video if you are one of those three, right? And so regardless of what you are into, this will help you with, you know, being able to be in that state of peacefulness and calmness. And so the first thing that it helps me a lot is to get myself exhausted. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Is to actually understand what is happening inside of myself how can i think about or how can i put it in such a way that i start a dialogue a healthy dialogue in myself in how to understand what is happening inside of me for example let's say you're going through a very overwhelming situation right in that situation how do you understand what is happening to you do you take a moment aside and you reflect on it or you go through whatever you need to go through and I don't know you go to the bathroom and think about what is happening or do you reflect at night time you see most of the time people don't do this people don't take the time to self-reflect in what is it that happened to me today what is it that I did wrong what is it that I should have improved and so by you taking the time to um, analyze to uh, you know analyze what is it that your day how your day was just by doing this automatically gives you a level of awareness for you to understand okay so this is what I did today let's say for example you had an argument with someone how did you react to that argument were you mad all the time were you fighting back and forth with that person what is the thing that you did your reflection how was that reflection were you able to do that reflection to understand what was happening and so when you create the self-reflection as a habit every single day of your life then you can start understanding okay this is what's happening and this is what is bothering me therefore if i know what is bothering me i can fix it and i can find peace and calmness into my life right so that is the first thing how do i reflect upon the things that i need to do in order to keep my energy calm because once you are able to understand what is it that you need to work on for example then it will be much easier to understand okay that triggers me this person will say that so i know for a fact that that will trigger me but if you actually take the time to self-reflect and understand what is it those things that are triggering you then you have some type of control to say, okay, I know that person will say something, but I'm not gonna let them affect my energy, right? So number one, being able to have a lot of self-reflection 
to yourself and understand what is that is happening to you. Once you have that self-reflection, the second thing is, if you already know that that pe person might trigger you, whoa, that person might trigger you, what do you do next? You just simply walk away from it, right? You simply say, you know what? This is something that is not gonna benefit me. This is something that is gonna affect me. Let me just be outside and not bother you right now, right? So those are the main things that I do apart from a lot of breath work, apart from a lot of closing my eyes, taking deep inhales and slow exhales. Those are the things that I do that helps me to actually keep my energies calm, to be able to understand, okay, this is what is happening. I'm not gonna let anybody affect my energy and this is very, very important. Do not let anybody affect your energy. How do we do that? Then I can go on another video to explain you how is it that you can not let other people affect your energy. Okay, guys? So if you have enjoyed this video, if you have learned anything at all, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell sign next to it because this year I am dedicated to make weekly videos to empower you to make the best version of yourself. But for now, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.